I'm here in Shanghai to talk about the development of the SK regional centres. The regional centres will be a network of computing facilities around the world that enable astronomers to interact with the data from the SKA telescopes. And we need to start thinking about them now because the construction of the telescope is very imminent and as soon as the data starts to flow, there need to be dedicated facilities in place to collect that data and make it available both to the astronomy community and also back to the observatory to do quality assessment and those kinds of processing tasks. So now is exactly the right time to start thinking about the development of this network um, within the SKA project. So I'm here at the Shanghai SKA meeting to talk about operating a large and complex telescope. We've learned a lot of lessons, our team of operators and uh, scientists in Meerkat in South Africa, about operating a big telescope. And SKA being at least four times bigger will have enormous challenges in, in managing and optimizing the operation of, of all these thousands of moving parts. And so it's important to get in early and try and uh, capture as much of this learning from the precursor instruments as possible to have a smooth start to operations of SKA. So I'm here in Shanghai to do a science warm-up talk for the SKA meeting. And it's about the MWA and the science uh, goals and, and the things that we've achieved. I talked about uh, the phase two upgrades that, that we've done, the, the extended and the compact configurations. And I also talked about the future work that we plan to do with the phase three upgrades and how that's going to benefit the science that, that we do as a precursor instrument to the SKA. And the reason that's important is because the SKA is coming up to this critical design review and uh, we're, we're talking all about the engineering and the, the commissioning and the planning this week and so it's good to focus back on our science goals and uh, why we're here and, um, and what we hope to achieve with this telescope. My name's Robert Lang, I'm the System Scientist at the Square Kilometre Array office. Um, I'm here to talk about commissioning and science verification. Um, commissioning is the process of taking um, the array that's been put together by the engineers, running science observations on it, evaluating the results, getting them to fix faults and iterating until we have an array that really works. The reason that we want to discuss this now is primarily to learn from the experience of the precursor and pathfinder arrays who've all been through this process, um, establish best practice and make sure that we don't make the same mistakes again. Thank <laughs> you.